Hey, it's Matt the Momo Hunter with McGee Farms. And we've got our LS XR4140 tractor here. I've done a couple videos about some of the lighting I've done. Hooked up this light bar to it because the stock lights really were not that great. Also hooked up some of the back lights. Changed them out with some LEDs as well. And uh, another one we just kind of finished and I wasn't really able to do a whole lot with on the last video is this beacon light here. And yeah, I, I'm gonna be doing a good bit of plowing snow with this and possibly moving some hay or uh, other stuff on the highway, on the side of the road. So I wanted to get as much visibility as possible. Now these LS tractors, the XR series with the cabs, I think the later ones do as well. They've got a little tab on each side. You can see this one right here that's uh, set up to mount them with. The wiring is already there. It's kind of like a, uh, a European, I think it's called a BMW, like a motorcycle style cigarette outlet. And I've got the plug. This is actually the second plug that I got. The plug-in is right here, and the first plug came straight down, but the more research I did, you could not open this window if it was in there. So this one that's kind of at a 90 degree, and I'm gonna put the link to both of them at the bottom of the video. Uh, but they're really easy to wire. The wire that you get for it, get the smallest gauge because there's not a lot of room to play with in that plug. But basically what I did, I just went to the hardware store, bought a little of this. I think it was a one, and a one or one and a half inch. Cut the links I needed with a hacksaw. I bolted a small piece. I think this was maybe two and a half, three inches going up. And I believe it was either four or five inches that I just uh, bolted on the sides. And this bolted right on wired it in. I've got some getting ready to take care of the wires, kind of tuck them under, and I've got some conduit that I'm getting ready to put in there. But it was a really easy job to do and gives you just a little bit extra safety on there. So anyway, if you've got one of these tractors or similar tractors, I figure the, I think the RK, the TYM, some of the, uh, some of the others, the New Holland even, has the same setup. So, uh, you know, hopefully this helps you. I'm gonna put the description down, or I'm gonna put the links to all of the parts that I bought down in the description. So hopefully if this is something you wanna do, maybe uh, 